All right, and we kick it off right now with this alleged blackmail story. Amazon's Jeff Bezos accusing the National Enquirer's publisher, American Media, of extortion. Bezos is revealing email sent to him by AMI, which threatened to release highly personal photos nude if he did not call off an investigation into the publisher. Bezos is writing in the blog post this morning this. Rather than capitulate to extortion and blackmail, I've decided to publish exactly what they sent me, despite the personal cost and embarrassment they threaten. If in my position I cannot stand up to this kind of extortion, how many people can? Joining me right now is trial attorney Misty, Har uh, Misty Maris. Misty, it's good to have you on the program this morning. We really want to get your intelligence on this. First off, your reaction. Well, uh, I, my first reaction was that, look, although this does seem to be unsavory on the part of AMI, of course, uh, in other circumstances, it could potentially fall under what would be a coercion or extortion statute and be criminal conduct. When you have a situation like this and you have communications between lawyers, I think AMI, from a legal perspective would have a very solid defense that this was an attempt at a dispute resolution and in that way it would be protected from being criminal activity. What it means for journalistic integrity is really another issue. Okay, so that's, put that aside for a moment. Do you think AMI could face charges. I think it's very, very unlikely because they're going to have defenses in this type of matter. They're going to argue that this is newsworthy, that Bezos is a public figure, that any sort of text messages, emails, pictures, anything like this would be of public interest because of his position at Amazon. And therefore, they're going to have those protections. They're going to have First Amendment protections. They're also going to have the protections, like I spoke about before, where you're talking about attorney to attorney communications in an attempt to resolve a dispute. So there's going to be several ways that AMI will uh, be able to avoid criminal liability in this yeah, case. Yeah, and that's what basically AMI says in the letter, which it sent to Bezos' lawyer, basically saying, look, this is news. He's the head of a public company, and we are making sure the American people understand how poor his judgment is in his personal life. Now we want to show that, given the fact that he runs a public company and answers to all these shareholders. Absolutely. He answers to the shareholders, as you just said. So information about his personal life can be deemed to be newsworthy. We know uh, from other cases that we've covered that when you have a publication like this and you have people who are public figures, it's simply a different standard for what would be appropriate to publish. But I mean, how, you know, how unusual is it for this kind of stuff where AMI puts potential extortion in writing, sends the note to his lawyers saying he needs to call off this investigation or else. What's interesting about it, Maria, is that AMI's lawyers were involved in it also. And I have a feeling that's purposeful because now you're talking about, as I said, attorney to attorney communications. And while it is unusual to have something like this in writing in the way that it was written, public uh, perception of a company, of a publication, that is always part of a settlement negotiation. That's why you see confidentiality provisions in these types of negotiations. So when you have that initial uh, offer, for, and in this case you have, you know, stop the investigation, you have a mutual release of all claims, you have confidentiality, you're always going to start with the most, and then you intend to negotiate back and forth with the other side. This is kind of stopped in its tracks because Bezos said, you know what, I'm getting ahead of it and I'm just going to expose uh, the fact that, yes, these photos might exist and just take it on myself yeah. so the leverage is gone. Well, he was effective in changing the conversation. Absolutely. Bezos was. I mean, it's just like pivot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They may still release the photos. Do you think they'll release the photos still? Yeah, it, they, you know, they may, but at this point, there, there might not be any value to the release of the photos that might just be causing more controversy and turmoil for the publication because I think that really what the question becomes is how these photos and text messages were acquired by AMI. We don't know the answer to that question yet, so uh, that may be something they want to avoid in this particular situation. Well, that's right, and that's why they want the investigation off. They obviously don't want any investigation into how they get their scoops. Right, and, and part of that might be because they don't want to have sources revealed, they don't want to have their, uh, the way that they, uh, their journalistic practices right. revealed. Field. Right. Uh, it could be more nefarious. We really don't know at this point. But it is interesting that one of those tenants 
one of the main issues in that re initial negotiation was to halt all investigations into this. Yeah, I mean, and by the way, initially, those texts that were revealed between Jeff Bezos and his girlfriend, how did they get those texts? Was that just her bragging to her friend and then the friends did it? Or how did they get those texts? Because we've been speculating that Lauren Sanchez told her girlfriends about it and then the girlfriends went and, 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 and got it public. But how is it possible that AMI got these private texts between two people? Well, you're absolutely right, Maria. And that's really the big question here, because if it is the girlfriend sharing the text or sharing the text with a friend, somebody else that acquires them in a legal way, she, you know, screenshots them and sends them to right. a friend, they end up going to the inquiry, uh, to AMI, that from AMI's perspective is going to be okay. That's fine. Right. But if there's any sort of hacking issue, if there's anything like that, then they have a huge problem. And if you note, in this proposed settlement, yeah. uh, that's one of the things that is in that doc or in those exchanges is that we we are we say that there was no hacking, there was no eavesdropping, there was no nothing oh. in acquiring this information. So it was purposefully put into that document. Now, again, we can speculate, but we don't really know how that personal, private conversation right. and photographs between two people got into the hands of AMI. Right, which is why Jeff Bezos wants this investigation. He's going to pursue it. And AMI wants it stopped. Yeah. We'll keep watching this. What a story. What a story. Misty, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Maria. Great to talk with you, as always. Misty Maris there.